for LIFO Park and welcome back to our weekly review show. A busy schedule coming up for the White Tigers across February, but only the one game to look back on this week for the first team, and that was when they took on Yate Town here at Belifo Park in the Southern League Premier South. Here's the best of the action. City welcome Yate to Belifo Park, looking to build on their impressive 1 0 win away at Western Superman last weekend. The first meaningful transfer to the visitors is James Heyman pushed away Ross Daly's strike from distance. City broke the deadlock on 28 minutes. Conor Riley Lowe's cross was finished off by Rocky Neal to give Truro the lead. The White Tigers doubled their advantage on the brink of half-time when Tyler Harvey headed home his 20th goal of the season following a Wildeen free kick. Fullback Kyle Egan rifled home a third goal midway through the second half with a fine strike. Heyman then denied Yate a late consolation of a top save before Dan Sullivan charged through and chipped the keeper to wrap up the three points for the White Tigers. So a comprehensive victory for Paul Watton's White Tigers. They defeated Yate Town 4-0 at Belifo Park thanks to goals from Rocky Neal, Tyler Harvey, Kyle Egan and Dan Sullivan. We now hear the thoughts of manager Paul Watton, assistant manager Stuart Yetton and defenders Kyle Egan and Finley Krask who we caught up with after the game. So Paul, a 4-0 win over Yate here at Belifo Park. A pretty comfortable afternoon's work in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Cam. It was uh, first half always outstanding, really. Um, you know, Yate didn't really... <coughs> Uh, didn't know how to deal with it first half um, and we should have been more than two goals up at half time uh, standard team talk at half time about um, just keeping professional doing the right things and um, we did and no two games were over the summer I mean um, Yate changed shape um, and they went a little bit more direct and um, but we dealt with that and uh, scored two but two fantastic goals I mean Kyle Egan was a great goal wasn't it so um no, overall, just a really pleasing afternoon for us. And obviously different game to last week, but do you, do you feel like um, after what was a sticky period over Christmas, do you think like we're back to our best again now? Another, another, that's three clean shoots in a row now as well. Uh, we've played well in the last two games, but we, we played well against Merthyr when we drew 0-0. Um, I thought we played really well against Beaconsfield here and drew one all. So, uh, I don't know, mate. Listen, we just real humble bunch of lads in there. Um, and the club, you know, we, we just, we're trying to do our best. Um, you know, it's just, <clears throat> today was a difficult game because last week away at Western, top of the table, 1,300 people, beautiful pitch. They're almost the easy games, you know, it's not easy to get a result, but they're almost the easy games to, to play in. Today, well, I was a bit concerned about today, um, like after the Lord Mayor show, but the boys, the boys were fantastic. and. I just wish we could have more people here because they're missing an awful lot of good football, but we'll be home soon enough. And you, I suppose you're just overall just happy with the professional performance of it. Obviously, you scored relatively early on uh, in the game and then that sort of not, not killed the game, but you were just comfortable throughout, really. Uh, second goal was important, um, you know, pretty much on the stroke of half-time and then Egan's strike was like different class. So, listen, I'm just, just pleased with us today, really pleased. The boys, they're an unbelievable group. Um, and they keep grinding it out every week. Um, and, we're, and we're trying to do something, playing 42 away games. The boys, are done, they're, they're fantastic. A terrific bunch of boys. Stu, 4-0 win over Yate here at Belifo Park. A comfortable afternoon's work in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I thought the boys were magnificent today. Um, first half, you know, could have been three or four. Uh, I thought some of the phases of play was superb. The second half, you know, a bit, bit slow, but but highly professional. And then we, we um, got a couple more goals late in the game. and. Uh, uh, two brilliant goals in that Kyle Egan strokes fantastic uh, goal of the month contender already um, and that's nice for the egg to get on the score sheet as well and you must be pleased with another clean sheet as well listen absolutely we, we, um, we've been a bit disappointed over the sort of December and Christmas period where uh, we kind of come away from what we were really good at um, and that was keeping clean sheets and you know that's a great basis to, to win any games of football and uh, we, we'd kind of come off the boil a little bit uh, and uh, the last three games rock solid at the back and uh, you know we said to the defenders in there you know 
highly professional to you know stay concentrating all game so so really pleased to, to give another clean up do you feel like we're, we're back to our best after a sticky period with obviously scoring plenty of goals keeping uh, keeping goals out as well no, not particularly i still think there's 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 more there um you know there's, there's times today when uh we're a little bit sloppy but you know we've, we've got high standards and we're, we're always demanding more from the lads so I don't think we're back to our best yet, um, but we're starting to bubble away nicely uh, and hopefully that, you know, um, leads well into the, the business end of the season. 4-0 whenever you ate, how, good result in the, out there, wasn't it today? Yeah, no, it, it was a tough game to start with, but um, yeah, no, we managed to get through it in the end. Uh, it was a slow start, but that was expected, especially out of the, the pitches. But yeah, as a team, we did really well to get the extra goals in the end. And how have you found life at Truro so far? Obviously, on the pitch, it's been good, hasn't it? Three, three games, three clean sheets. Yeah, re results has been good. I mean, yeah, as you said, three clean sheets now, which is always what you want as a defender. And yeah, no, we're doing really well. And for you, obviously, being a defender and obviously being at Plymouth and stuff, what's it like working under Paul Watt and obviously someone who's well known at Argyle? And you've learned, do you feel like you're learning a lot from him? Yeah, especially if I'm not sure on what, what's happened in a game. And especially last week when I gave away the pen, pen I went up and asked him about it and he said, Tell me exactly what went wrong, and no, it's really handy having someone like him behind and teach me through it. Kyle, three points in the bag with a 4 0 win over Yate. You must be happy with that performance. Yeah, buzzing, buzzing to be fair. I think um, what we wanted to to do um, was just to go into this game off the back of Weston. Um, so we just wanted to sort of cement last week with another win, do you know what I mean, and not have another stumble. So um, yeah, good performance. Um, can't really wish for anything better for now. And three clean sheets in the bounce now. You, as a defender, you must be obviously delighted with that. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the main aim. We were doing it at the start of the season um, and we sort of fell off um, a little bit. Um, so Gaffer was sort of saying that's what the main focus. You know I mean, we really need to get back to it, getting clean sheets and then the goals will come off that, performances will come off that. Um, so it's been a focus the last few weeks and we've managed to actually take that into games and, and make it happen. And speaking of goals, I, I remember I, I said to you before the game, and you can vouch for this as well, that I, I felt like you'd score yeah. today and you did just that, didn't you? What a strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To be fair, I wasn't expecting it. You've said it this morning, but I wasn't expecting it. But um, yeah, just I, I noticed that their lad was cheating a little bit, so I managed to get in behind him. And um, to be fair, it's just set up nicely for me, so I just thought I'd have, have a go and it's it's come off, it worked, yeah. And one that you'll definitely probably want to look back on. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait for the highlights to come out and have a little look. But no, it's obviously the, main, the most important thing is that we've got another win after Weston. Um, we're still up there trying our best. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be, be right up there at the end of the season. John Fabry's reserve side continue their fine form in the St Pyrrhon League as they defeated a Lug and RBL 2-1 away from home. Despite going behind early doors, they reacted well and scored twice through Finn Harrison to pick up all three points as they move up to second in the table. back on the road for the first team this weekend as they make the long trip to Hampshire to take on Gosport Borough on Saturday. City beat Gosport in the reverse fixture here at Belifo Park in dramatic circumstances. Rocky Neal scored a 90th minute penalty to secure City a vital 1-0 win over the Hampshire visitors. City will be looking to make it three wins and four clean sheets in a row but the management know it's going to be a tough ask against a good side. And just on to Gosport next week mate, a tough game obviously back on the road as well. It's um, as we, we, spoke, we spoke in the week, obviously, you say there's so many tough games this league, anyone can beat anyone, but Absolutely. they're similar to Yate, really. They've had a bit of a mixed season, but never an easy place to tough go. Tough place it? to go, Gosport, mate. Real tough place. I know Mark Mosley really well. Played with him at Argyle for a little bit, um, and he's got some really good players there, so, you know, we'll have to be bang on it again, but we'll enjoy our night tonight and then worry about Gosport on Monday. And a tough, tough game against Gosport this coming weekend. We know they're not at, not at the best of seasons, but never an easy place to go. You, you, you never get any easy games in this, uh, you know, uh, at this level, Cam. You, you know, when you think you might have, uh, based on the league table, you go, you go somewhere and, it, 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 you know, the game totally turns around. So, um, you know, we'll take nothing for granted. Uh, we'll plan well. Uh, I know Mark Mosey's gone in there now as, as Gaffer and, you know, he's very meticulous. So he'll have them well drilled. Um, so we'll need to be bang out to go there and get a result. Both youth teams are in action this weekend. The reserves host Wendron United Reserves at Tregaia Fields on Saturday in the Superior League, while the under-18s make the journey to Plymouth to take on Elbert and Villa in the DGM League. For action and reaction from all of those games and the first team's trip to Hampshire, tune into next week's episode. I've been Cameron Weldon, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.